On uh, Solaris, there's also commands like PRT conf to uh, get configuration of the systems uh, that you could see, like for example, um, PRT conf uh, minus V, um, and then it gives you the device configuration, lowercase v, and then you could say and grep minus i memory to get the memory usage, it says for four gig because I just changed it from two gig to four gig. Uh, and you can see that um, there's, uh, uh, if you look at the device name, like the device that are there in terms of uh, actual div, and uh, grep minus i div. So like devices, um, sometimes you could just get the uh, far format and this this is a uh, not a spark um, but um, Linux I mean uh, x86 so f disk uh, minus uh, L uh, and then the name of the device in this case let's see what it is um, uh, devices cut ATC virtual file system table and then right here if I do a ZFS list, uh, all the file systems are there. Board partition, export, ls minus l dev, uh, df, dsk. Let me see, slash dsk. And then yeah, you could do something like this and then you will get the slash dev dsk. Um, as, uh, there and then some of them um, like controller one target zero uh, the way you just want to do it is uh, say PRT print table of uh, uh, PRT um, PRT volume table of contents print volume table of contents dev slash raw disk slash C1T 1D0 slice 2 slice 2 is the full disk you could get that information if it is uh, pointing to the right uh, target. It might be target zero. Um, and then this is permission denied. So I need uh, to become root. So, uh, which machine I am on Solaris? Yeah, PRT volume table of content slash dev slash or this slash C1 T0 D0 slash 2. Yeah, so this was my disk and then slice 2 has the full information and tells me how many sectors are there and um, how many cylinders per sector so, so on. I mean how many sectors per cylinder. Um, on the Solaris, there's also a format command, a Spark uh, version of it, that you could see the format is equivalent to F disk in there. So now you see this. This is my disk, like I was telling you earlier. Print volume table of content. But if I just go to and this is zero, choose this zero. Now I can see the partition. All these commands are available for me. So partition, if I just type in P for partition and then I another P for print, now I'm getting the file system. So zero would be my root file system in this case. And then one is the user, two is the entire disk. And you can see that uh, two is uh, allocated. And then the sectors that you can see from here, it starts 256 all the way to the 40, 96, that uh, everything together. So if I just uh, say um, quit from here and then here say type, what type of disk I have, zero is for the auto, then I can see that that's my uh, disk information, ATA virtual uh, desktop. And this was the device that I was looking at. So if I quit out of here and just say PRT, 
PRT volume table of contents slash dev slash raw disk of C1 T0 uh, controller one target zero disk zero slice two. Well, slice two is the full disk. Then I get the partition tables. On this one, I get it this way on Linux. Um, uh, Linux right here. I could get the same information. I could get the same information on Linux uh, from uh, this one by saying cut uh, proc and then partition. That's the partition table. LS uh, block also gave me the information there for it. F disk minus L uh, also gave me for dev uh, slash FSDA, FSDA, like uh, whatever is the disk name, FSDA1 or whatever. And let me just uh, do list um, DF minus H, uh, SDA1, SCSI disk A for the first one, a, a SCSI disk at B would be the second one, and so on. So now if I just do F disk dev slash SDA. SDA uh, would give me the entire thing for this. If I do SDA one, that's only the uh, slide. So it tells me, oh, you're looking at the root partition rather than just the entire disk. And the entire disk, if I do it without minus L, and like I was doing the format there, here the same thing, P print, and then I list uh, them all the SCSI disk. Now I have another SDA uh, two, I could see that that's a Linux uh, logical volume. LBM is a for logical volume, the type of uh, partition that is there. And then um, here, if I just uh, need help, uh, like M, give you there. And then if I just create a new partition, it will just say new. It will just allow me to whether create a primary or extend it, whatever I want. I could say, go ahead, uh, create a new one. And then same information. Now I printed, I just created that the new one. Yeah. And if I just want to just allocate to it, I could do it. And then I could add on to it and then um, write it by W. It will save it. And then later on, I have to uh, do make FS on it or new FS and create it there. So I don't need to do that one. I'm going to do a quick. I could type an M and then look at L for list of the types. I could say list the type, and then I say, oh, this volume that I created, let's assign it a type of Linux or something else. If I want to change the type, I could just type in uh, that information here. But 42, I could just type in 42, and then print uh, there again. Notice that it is uh, Linux, and then let's say M um, L for list of known partition. And then here some command is going to change it. Toggle DOS partition edit BSD toggle and print it and new uh, print partition table quit create a new empty sun disk change the partition type system ID so type would do it. So if I just do the type and then for the third three I just say what I want to do it is so let's say I type in 42. Uh, and then I print it now. This is uh, SFS. Uh, so every time that you type in the list, uh, you could get a different type of information. Uh, what the file system. If I wanted Solaris boot, then I have to change it to BE or FF in this case. And then um, BE actually. So. Um, uh, 42 was that one, uh, SFS, and let's go back and change it back to a Linux uh, uh, LVM. So the um, thing was type, 
I say type, and then it gives me which one. I say three and eight, eight, eight. And then that would uh, print it back to Linux VM. Since I don't need it, I say quit. I don't write it. And then now if I go back to the same disk, I say print it. Now there's uh, that volume is not there. But if I wanted to write it, I would do W after the creation and print it. Then now uh, I listed uh, slash dev slash SDA three would be listed. Then I have to do a make FS slash dev slash SDA three. That would add it to the file system, create super block, create I nodes for it. And then I could mount it on the thing like here. Uh, if it's tough, well, so uh, like here, some of those ones you just put the partition name in here when you do it, uh, mount it as what and what file system the default at boot time. This one, whether, whether it uh, runs file system checker on it at boot time or not, uh, you just set up those options to check it. It comes up at boot time and also that does it need to uh, check the integrity of it. Those are the flags. Okay, I'm going to stop at this time. I already passed the class time. Uh, I'm going to stop and I hope uh, you guys enjoyed uh, the session and um, learned something from it. And um, if you repeat the class uh, the session again and uh, listen to it over and over, I'm, I'm pretty sure it will be very useful for your um, work and for any other aspect of uh, computer science uh, that you will be doing later on. And it's gonna help you on this class as well because we are, did a lot of bash scripting. I will post all the bash script that I put uh, together for you and then um, I'll listen to the lecture. Have a nice day. And whatever is left for the day. <laughs> Have a, a nice evening actually. Okay, I'm gonna stop uh, sharing and stop recording. Um, let me stop recording first. Okay.